Hello students, let's start a new chapter in English. It's in the book Vistas. The title is Deep Water, chapter number 3 by William Douglas. Let us first know something about William Douglas. William Orwell Douglas was an American jurist and a politician who served as an associate justice of Supreme Court of the United States. Now he was the youngest justice appointed in the Supreme Court at the age of 40. Okay, so he has written about his fears, fear of water. Now the theme of this chapter, the author talks about his fear of water and how he finally overcame that fear. Childhood's fear according to this chapter or the message that this chapter gives is the childhood fears must never be treated lightly. If they are not tackled, then they make deep inroads into one's psychology. The fear that we have creates an ill impression on our sight. Okay, sight. So this should be done. What? Those should be tackled very well. Douglas analyzes his fear and finally determines to overcome it. What was his fear? His fear was of water. Now the message that is conveyed, the message conveyed is that it is not death, but the fear of death that creates havoc in one's mind or that creates terror in one's mind. Also any fear can be conquered. This chapter even gives a message that any fear can be conquered if we try hard enough, if we are determined. Okay, so this is actually the basic theme of this chapter. Now, we will do this chapter point wise. The very first point we will start with is uh, Actually, when we start this chapter, we should know where it has been taken from. So, deep water, it is an excerpt taken from of men in mountains by William Douglas. He recounts a childhood experience and conquering his fear of water. He talks about his fear of water and thereafter how he finally overcame that fear. So the very first point is decided to learn to swim. Now the narrator that is William Douglas, he decided to learn to swim. There was a pool at YMCA. It offered him a very good opportunity. Swimming actually in Yakima river, which was just near to his house, was quite dangerous. His mother had warned against it, means warned against having uh, going there in that Yakima river, but the YMCA pool was safe for swimming. It was two to three feet deep in the shallow end and nine feet deep at the deeper end. Okay. The slope was also gradual. So William had an aversion of water from the very beginning. Once he stood at the beach, he remembers this, that once he was at the beach with his father, a wave swept over him and knocked him down. Uh, he was buried in the water and he was frightened. The going there to the YMCA pool actually revived that unpleasant memories and childish fear, which the time when he was buried under the water when he was there at the shore or there at the beach with his father. Okay. The next point is misadventure at YMCA pool.
Now the narrator, that is William Douglas, was alone at the pool. He didn't dare to go inside the water alone. Then there came a big bully of a boy, means a strong, strongly built boy. He was a beautiful physical specimen, and as he came, he cried, "Hi, skinny!" Seeing the narrator, that is Douglas, who was thin and lean there. Then he picked the narrator up and tossed him into the deep end of the water. Now he went down at once. Who? Douglas. It was at the bottom. He was frightened, but not out of his wits, not out of his consciousness, not out of his intelligence. He decided to make a big jump from the bottom. He thought that I would make a big jump as I would reach the floor. He would try to come to the surface. This is what he was thinking while he was going down. He would lie flat on the water, and finally he would pedal to the edge of the pool. This is what he thought while he was going down. Now the next point is Douglas grew panicky. Now when he was going down, the nine feet, it looked, or he felt that those were more than ninety. His lungs were ready to burst. But when he hit the bottom, bottom of that pool, he gathered all his strength. He made a great spring upwards. He came up rather slowly. He thought that he would jump up and come fast, but he came up very slowly. Then he opened his eyes, but he could not see anything. What he saw was only water. He grew panicky. He was suffocating. He tried to cry, but no sound came out. Now he swallowed water and choked. His legs and hands got paralyzed and even rigid. He was unable to move. Okay, so today we'll be doing up till here. The next part of this chapter we will be doing in the next video.